Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fine. I want my audience to know. You guys know me waiting for Stephanie Oswald. She's here. She's here to talk about staycations for summer. One of my second favorite words. Vacation is the first, but I'll go for staycation today. All right. Let's see how important. You got some research about planning a family vacation? Well, you know, Valder, it is so important to plan whether you're going near or far. And one of the best ways to do that is to start on your local tourism board website if you're going to take a staycation, because that's where you're going to find out when the festivals are coming to town, what's happening at the local theater, or maybe what's going on at the local museum. True. That's very true. So search your local area first. So that's for our staycation. So any, any tips for the planning an affordable staycation or vacation too? Sure. Well, you know, Valder, we all want to save money. And you know, at Travel Girl Magazine, we have been watching the trends for 15 years. And the millennials are the hot group right now, the movers and shakers in the travel industry. And you know, 73% of them, a recent survey came out, 73% of them think that they are savvy travelers. And of those, almost 60% think that travel hacks are the key to success. And things like using the right credit card can make a big difference in having a great travel experience. So one card that has a lot of perks that I really love is the Chase IHG Rewards Club Premier Credit Card. It's great because you get points pile up very, very fast. You get 10 points for every dollar you spend at an IHG property. And that includes the Holiday Inn, Crown Plaza, Intercontinental, that group. And mm. you get, yeah, lots of options there. You get two points for every dollar you spend at groceries, gas stations, and restaurants. And then, Valder, what's great is you also get free nights uh, a couple different ways. One every year when you own the car, you get one for every anniversary. And then anytime you book a stay with your points that is four nights or longer, that fourth night is completely free. You don't have to spend points or money. So those are great options. And of course, you can always just spend the night in a hotel in your hometown, and that's a great staycation. It is. It really is. It's always good to sleep in other people's space sometimes. Yes, okay. and have someone else make your bed in the morning, right? <laughs> it is, yeah, because you, you feel like I'm not making the bed, and you just leave. You feel powerful, I'm telling you. Okay, so if you got kids, how do you keep the kids busy? Uh, just say you take them on a, on a car trip. How do you keep them busy? Because they're so smart now. Well, they are very smart. You know, I've got a couple of kids, and they are obsessed with their electronics. So, Valder, I think it's really important that we know what games our kids are playing. So I recommend going through your kid's game bag periodically, but especially before a road trip. Make sure you know what's in there. And there's a great game that's coming out this week. It's for the Nintendo Switch. It's called Go Vacation. It's very travel girly because it's going to give everybody that summertime feel. There are more than 50 activities, everything from beach volleyball to surfing to skateboarding horseback riding and they can do all that while they're in the back seat while you're driving to your next destination so a great option there for parents something else that's really fun if you've got kids and they love music and they want to put together a playlist let everyone take turns being a DJ uh, while you're on vacation so that can go for the road trip or at the beach or in your hotel room it just gives your kids an opportunity to be part of the fun and uh, that way you know it can spur some conversations too Okay, as a staycation or vacation planner, how do you remember to take everything for everybody on the trip? <laughs> well, here's the secret. You don't have to remember everything and don't beat yourself up if you forget something because at the end of the day, as long as you all have your identification, you have access to cash and any prescription eyewear, Everything else can pretty much be replaced. You can even fulfill prescriptions at different drugstores around the country and around the world if you had to. So don't sweat the small stuff. If you're at the beach and you forgot your bathing suit, that just gives you an excuse to buy another <laughs> bathing suit, right? And it's just really important to give ourselves a break because we spend too much time beating ourselves up because we forgot something when it's just an easy trip to, to down store, downstairs or across town to just pick something up and don't sweat it. Just get back to the beach or get back to your vacation. 
Okay. My final uh, question will be, you plan this vacation or staycation. How do you actually relax? Because this is why you planned it. How do you do this? Well, that takes a lot of discipline. It's very important. And even when you take a staycation, I remind people, you know, a lot of times girlfriends get together and they say, well, we're going to go to the spa in, right in our own hometown, but they still worry about the grocery list or they answer emails from work while they're sitting in the relaxation room. So it's really about discipline. You need to tell yourself, hey, I deserve this vacation, I'm going to take it, and so I'm going to relax when I'm in the relaxation room, I'm going to go to the beach and read a book, and I am not going to stress out about the grocery list or the bills or the dirty dishes. So it's really important to compartmentalize, and if you're the ringleader of your vacation, if you're the travel girl planning the trip, you have to set the example. And you know, even your kids can get involved. I, I remind my kids when we're on vacation, a lot of times I am working, uh, but there are other times when we say, okay, this is strictly vacation, and I tell the kids, if you see mommy on the phone or on her computer, you tell her, mom, we're on vacation, and they do it, and that helps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stephanie, you are just truly a gem for travel. Where can we find out more about uh, the magazine Travel Girl? Where would you send us? I will send you to Travel Girl Inc., travelgirlinc.com, and you know we're celebrating our 15-year anniversary this summer, so please check it out. We uh, launched in Atlanta 15 years ago, so our summer issue is all about Atlanta, which is wonderful. We I also it ain't so. I can't believe that much time is passed. Can you believe? I know. It's really hard to believe, but 15 years. And then for the tips we talked about today, we also put that on a website. It's tipsontv.com. I got a trip coming up. I'm going to that site. You guys follow me over there and send her some messages. Let her know that, hey, you're learning from what she did on the Belder BB show. Stephanie, thank you so very much for being my guest as always. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, Valder, and safe travels.